हेलो 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 कैन यू हियर मी हेलो हेलो कैन यू हियर मी कैन यू हियर मी हेलो जी सर ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो uh so far what we have discussed that uh, we will be using sunk key in order to connect the hub part of the flywheel with the shaft part and uh, in order to use that sunk key uh the length of the key which i will be requiring is i will calculate that length from this equation that is t max is equal to l into w into tau into d1 by 2 where d1 is the diameter of the shaft w is the width l is the length of the key and tau is the shear stress for the key material any doubt so far till this expression hello any doubt so far till this expression no nice, sir okay so let us solve one problem we got based on the design procedure of this flywheel let us solve this problem read the problem design and draw a cast iron flywheel used for a four stroke ic engine uh, that means here we are we want to design a flywheel uh, which is made up of cast iron material and that flywheel i have to use it in a four stroke engine if i am using this flywheel for a four stroke engine can you tell me how much maximum uh, angle a flywheel can rotate for this four stroke engine that means what will be the maximum value of theta 720 yes 4 pi 720 that is nothing but 4 pi fine okay that means theta maximum it can go to 4 pi and minimum is zero okay Uh, developing 180 kilowatt at 240 rpm 180 kilowatt is what power is given to you power is 180 kilowatt 240 rpm means n is given to you n is 240 rpm hoop or centrifugal stress developed in the flywheel is 5.2 megapascal what is given to me what is this 5.2 what is this 5.2 sir hoop stress hoop stress that is nothing but sigma t that is nothing but sigma t is given to me and i know that uh, sigma t and i know that uh, sigma t is nothing but equal to density of the flywheel into peripheral speed of the flywheel square that means sigma t equal to rho v square so i uh, since sigma t is given to me and density is also given see density is also given to you so with this expression you can calculate the peripheral speed v of the flywheel okay the total fluctuation of speed is limited to 3% of the mean speed what is this value given to you what is this 3% coefficient of fluctuation of speed that means cs is given to me cs yes. is a 3% that means cs is 3 by 100 that is 0.03 okay next is the work done during the power stroke is 1 by 3 more than the average work done during the whole during the whole cycle what is the meaning of this line work done during the power stroke is 1 by 3 more than the average work done during the whole cycle that means what is the meaning of this line what is the meaning of this line sir means during the power stroke the work done is three times the uh, work done in the whole cycle that means i can write that say power stroke is uh, we get power in a four stroke engine only in the expansion region yes or no ji we get the power in four stroke engine in the expansion region 
that means work done in power stroke that is work done in expansion is 1 by 3 times more than the average work done during the whole cycle say w is the average work done in the whole cycle then work done in expansion is w plus plus 1 by 3 w by 3 yes or no yes or no ji sir baki log bolo kya maine jo ye likha hai uh, expression for w e equal to w plus w by 3 is it correct according to the given situation are bhai respond karo tum log other people please respond that the expression which i have yeah. written for this expansion stroke work done in expansion stroke is it matching with this line of the problem yes Hello. sir clear yes, sir. okay let us move forward yes, sir. let us move forward then mm, okay the maximum torque on the shaft is twice the mean torque that means t max is given to me t max is equal to two times the t mean mean torque fine density of the cast iron that means rho is given to you as 7220 kg per meter cube fine we need to design and lastly draw the flywheel if we want to design the flywheel that means we want to calculate means we have to calculate all the possible dimensions let us calculate step by step first one let us find out the mean torque of the problem how i will find out we know that power p is nothing but mean torque that is t mean into omega so t mean will be power divided by omega and omega i know that 2 pi n by 60 use this that, that expression and you will get the value of mean torque p is given in the problem n is given in the problem and you are getting mean torque as 7161 newton meter is this step clear Yes. Okay. So then let us move forward. Okay. Next, if I have got the value of mean torque, then I know that work that is work done under the T theta diagram is nothing but mean torque into theta, and that mean torque into theta will be nothing but work done per cycle. So work done per cycle is T mean into theta. T mean already I have calculated and what will be the value of theta? Theta is nothing but the full cycle which the full cycle in the four stroke engine full cycle is nothing but 720 degree because first 180 degree suction takes place next 180 degree compression next 180 degree expansion and last 180 degree your exhaust that means 180 into 4 that is 4 pi so t mean is 7161 into 4 pi i will get the value of work done per cycle that is 90000 newton meter is this step clear is the step Thank clear you, hello yes sir yes sir okay yes sir yes sir so work done per cycle we have calculated next now it has been given to in the question that work done during the power stroke is one by third one by three times more than the average work done during the whole cycle we have already calculated the work done in the whole whole cycle so work done in the power stroke will be work done per cycle plus one by three times the work done per cycle that means 90,000 plus 1 by 3 times of 90,000, which will be 120,000 Newton meter. This will be the work done in the power stroke. That is, work done in the expansion stroke. Is this step clear? Is the step clear? Yes, sir. Reply, Please reply so that uh, it will be easy for me. If you haven't understood, say you haven't understood, I will again make you understood. Any doubt so far? This step, equation number one, this till this step. Nice, easy as to. Is it doubt? Hai, koi? Bagi log, please respond. Karo. No, sir. Doubt hai, ko? Ya, no, sir. Work done during the power stroke. Okay, okay, fine. Now, since I have to design this flywheel for a four stroke IC engine, let us draw the T versus theta diagram first. This is torque versus theta diagram. 
this portion is suction this portion is compression this portion is expansion or the power stroke and this portion is exhaust since in this diagram we are interested in which stroke we are interested in only the power stroke because from the power stroke we are getting the work done and from the power stroke only we will be getting the maximum fluctuation of energy we are not interested in suction compression or exhaust stroke because these things are not given to me in the question nothing has been given to me yes or no no informations regarding suction compression and exhaust is given to me only in question what has been told to you that we have to focus in the power stroke only yes or no yes sir fine so in order to solve i can assume this diagram of the power stroke to be a triangle why triangle because in the question nowhere it is written that this curve is following some sine curve or cosine curve since it is not written then i can take i can take it as a triangle that means a b c to be a triangle if i take this triangle somewhat here will be my mean torque line already i have calculated mean torque is how much mean torque is 7161 that means this distance is 7161 mean torque and uh, this peak portion from the zero portion will be nothing but your maximum torque and i also know that area under the t versus theta diagram above the mean torque line gives me maximum fluctuation of energy that means this shaded area will give me maximum fluctuation of energy if i can find out somehow the area of this diagram then i will get the value of delta e let us find out now if i see this diagram this is a triangle this is a triangle a b c is a triangle this is my base can you tell me what is the value of this ac pi pi yes this portion is 3 pi this portion is 2 pi 3 pi minus 2 pi is pi i have written ac is pi and height is your bf so can you tell me from the diagram what is the value of the height bf what is the value of the height bf hello can you tell me from the diagram what is the value of the height bf Uh, maximum torque is sir yes maximum, maximum torque, torque so far we haven't value. calculated t max so i cannot tell that numeric value but i know that from the diagram bf is nothing but t max so i have to calculate this t max fine let us calculate work done during the power stroke work done during the power stroke is what area of the triangle that is half into base into height that means half into base base is this much portion that is pi into height height is how much height is t max height is t max and this work done during the power stroke equal to this work done during the power already we have calculated that work done in the power stroke is how much average work done plus 1 by 3 times the average work done we have already calculated the work done during the power stroke but from the diagram from the diagram i can write that work done during this power stroke is nothing but area of this triangle which is nothing but half into base into height half into base is pi into height is bf which is t max and this is nothing but equal to this 120000 newton meter yes or no this is nothing but equal to this 120000 newton meter yes or no ji yes, sir yes sir So T max will be how much? T max will be one twenty thousand into two divided by pi. So this much is the value of T max. That is seventy six thousand three eighty four newton meter. That means from here to here, this height is seven six three eight four. Is it clear? Till this much. Fine. Now if I have got the value of T max, I can calculate B G. What is B G? b to g bg is nothing but bf minus gf bf is nothing but t max already i have calculated gf is nothing but t mean 
already i have calculated let us subtract if you subtract you will get the value of bg which is 69223 newton meter is it clear ji sir fine now if i take two similar triangles which triangle triangle abc see triangle abc and triangle bde bde then i can write that area of triangle bde divided by area of triangle abc is equal to bg square is equal to bg square divided by bf square and i know that area of triangle bde is nothing but maximum fluctuation of energy so area of triangle bde is equal to area of triangle abc into bg square upon bf square what is area of triangle abc what is area of triangle abc area of triangle abc is nothing but work done total work done during the power stroke already we have calculated already we have calculated that is nothing but this the total work done during the power stroke 120000 newton meter so 120000 into bg bg already we have calculated that is 69223 divided by bf what is bf b to f is nothing but t max t max also we have calculated that is 76384 if you solve this expression you will get the value of area of triangle bde that means area of triangle bde which is nothing but maximum fluctuation of energy that means maximum fluctuation of energy delta e is equal to 98555 newton meter is the step clear is the step clear hello yes sir ji sir fine next now i am starting my design procedure now i am starting my design procedure so far what we have calculated we have calculated the value of mean torque we have calculated the overall work done during the power stroke then we have calculated t max then by the use of this diagram and similar triangle concept i have calculated the value of this delta e now my actual design is starting first one if i want to design the flywheel i what i need i need the diameter of the flywheel rim say let d is the diameter of the flywheel rim how we can calculate this value of d we know we know that sigma t is equal to rho v square rho is given in the problem sigma t is given in the problem with this expression you can get the value of v and that v is coming out to be 26.8 meter per second now you can write v as pi d n by 60 n is given fine substitute this expression and you can get the value of d so that diameter of the flywheel rim is 2.04 meter first part of the answer is it clear hello yes sir fine so this is the first design step of the flywheel that is to get the diameter of the flywheel rim next if i have got the diameter of the flywheel rim let us find out what is the mass of the flywheel rim how i can find out the value of mass i know that maximum fluctuation of energy that is delta e is equal to mass moment of inertia which is nothing but mk square here k is not given to me so i will take k as nothing but radius of the flywheel ring that is mr square into omega square cs delta e we have calculated r is how much this d by 2 omega is how much 2 pi n by 60 cs is also given in the question that is 0.03 by using this expression you can get the value of this m and uh, this m you are getting it as 4995 kg is it clear hello is it clear yes, this ms 4995 kg second part of the answer hello any yes, sir koi doubt hai kisi ko yes sir it's clear sir clear okay okay chalo aaye next 
so we have calculated the diameter of the flywheel rim we have calculated the mass of the flywheel rim now let us calculate the cross section of the flywheel rim i know that cross section of the flywheel rim is rectangular in shape area will be what area will be width into thickness that is b into t and we know that normally width is two times the thickness so in place of b i can substitute it as 2t so area will be 2t square now i know what i know that i know that mass is equal to density into volume and volume i can write it as area into circumferential length of the flywheel and that circumferential length is nothing but pi d fine so d is given to me area is 2t square rho is given to me mass just now i have calculated with that expression i can get the value of t once i know the value of t i know that b is 2 times of t i will multiply it with 2 and i will get the value of b so these are the cross sectional values of the flywheel rim that means weight is weight is 470 mm and thickness is 235 mm is the step number 3 clear ji sir okay let us move forward next next comes the diameter and length of the hub let us calculate the diameter and length of the hub which we will be using it to connect it with the shaft say let the d is the diameter of the hub d1 is the diameter of the shaft and l is the length of the hub and l is the length of the hub we know in the question it has been given to you that maximum torque is two times the mean torque mean torque already we have calculated that is 7161 so 7161 into 2 is nothing but 14322 newton meter or in newton millimeter multiply it with 10 to the power 3 so your maximum torque becomes 14322 into 10 to the power 3 newton millimeter once you get the value of maximum torque then what you will be using i know which expression tau that is a maximum torque t is nothing but pi by 16 times of tau into d1 cube which expression this expression this expression t max is equal to pi by 16 into tau into d1 cube understood this expression i am using this expression i am using so let us use that expression T max, T max already I have taken out. That is fourteen thousand three twenty two to ten to the power three equal to pi by sixteen into tau. Tau is the shear stress. Again, it is given in the problem into d one cube. D one is what diameter of the shaft. With this expression, you can get the value of dia of the shaft, which is around one twenty two mm. But in order to keep the design safe, let us take somewhat higher value. So let us take this dia of the shaft as 125 mm is the step clear how i have calculated the diameter of the shaft yes any doubt any doubt hello no sir okay. fine okay no, so next once we have calculated the value of diameter of the shaft next is dia of the hub and in the design portion in the theoretical design portion we know that dia of the hub is two times the dia of the shaft just now i have described uh, while uh, while describing the theoretical design part i have told that dia of the hub will be always two times the dia of the shaft so multiply the dia of the shaft with 2 that means 125 into 2 the dia of the hub is 250 mm or 0.25 mm that is d and what will be the length of the hub that also i know from the design part of the flywheel that length of the hub is nothing but equal to the width of the flywheel width of the flywheel is nothing but 470 mm and that is nothing but equal to the length of the hub that is 0.47 mm 0.47 meters or 470 mm is the step number 4 clear diameter and length of the hub hello yes sir next part is cross sectional dimensions of the elliptical arm i know that 
arms of the flywheel are elliptical in shape with major axis as a1 and minor axis as b1 now i have to calculate what will be the value of this a1 and b1 and we also know that minor axis is how much is nothing but the half of the major axis that means 0.5 times of a1 and i have to take the value of n that is number of arms if you read the question in the question nowhere it has been told that you have to design the flywheel you have to design the large size flywheel if nothing it has been told so i will assume that i am designing the moderate size or small size flywheel so for moderate size flywheel number of arms n is nothing but equal to 6 and the bending stress for the material of the arm is given as 15 newton per millimeter square i will use all these values and i will calculate the value of bending moment m i already know that bending moment m is nothing but t divided by r into n into capital r minus small r capital r is how much capital r is the radius of the rim small r is how much small r is the radius of the hub that means that is small d divided by 2 and what is n n is nothing but 6 calculate these values you will get the maximum bending moment m as 2094.5 newton meter or 2094.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton millimeter multiply it with 1000 if you are converting your meter into millimeter once you get the value of m now you can get the calculate section modulus i know that for elliptical portion section modulus is pi by 32 into v1 a1 square I already know that B1 is 0.5 times of A1. Substitute so pi by 32 into 0.5 times of A1 into A1 square, which is nothing but 0.05 times of A1 cube. Now I know that bending stress sigma B is nothing but m by z. Sigma is given in the problem that is 15 m. Already we have calculated that is this value. Z is nothing but this value. So from this expression, you will get the value of major and minor axis that is major axis a1 is 140 mm half of this major axis is minor axis that is 70 mm is the step number 5 clear dimensions of the elliptical arm major axis and minor axis length yes sir yeah fine last portion is the dimensions of key that is what i need to find out now for this key part data book will be given to you because there are different types of keys available in the data book so which key i will choose i will choose the rectangular on the basis of diameter i will choose the rectangular sunk key and the shaft diameter already i have calculated in the previous part i will use that shaft diameter corresponding to that table i will get the width of the key and i will get the thickness of the key this i will get from the data book width of the key is coming out to be 36 mm and the thickness is coming out to be 20 mm since width is uh, we have calculated thickness we have calculated we can calculate the length of the key by using which expression by using this expression uh, this expression this expression that is t max is equal to l into w into tau into d1 by 2 with this expression i will get the value of l that is length of the key remaining all values are given to me so let us calculate the length so your length is coming out to be 159 mm so let us uh, so they are taking the higher dimension value say 160 mm so length of the key is 160 mm so now we have calculated all possible dimensions of flywheel at last we have to check that whether all the these dimensions which we have calculated is correct or not how to check for that i have to calculate the total stress value if the total stress value of the problem is less than the stress value given in the question that means all these dimensions are correct so i know this formula which formula this formula we have discussed in the in yesterday's class that is overall stress in the flywheel is given by rho v square 0.75 plus 4.935 times of r upon n square t rho is given in the problem that is density of the material v is the linear speed that also we have calculated what is capital r capital r is nothing but the radius of the flywheel rim that is that also we have calculated what is n n is the number of flywheel arm that is nothing but equal to 6 what is t t is the thickness of the flywheel rim 
that is 0.235 newton meter so once you calculate all these values it is coming out to be how much it is coming out to be 6.97 megapascal and since in the question it has been told that maximum stress induced in the flywheel is 15 megapascal so my value is less than the maximum value that means all these dimensions whatever i have calculated these are correct dimensions and my design is is the problem clear? Oh, sir. What a number problem, sir. Fine. So, this is the complete design problem of a flywheel, including the flywheel rim portion, flywheel arm portion, hub portion, shaft portion, as well as the key portion. There are some more problems. Similar problems are there. You can solve from your own. And with this, we complete our flywheel part. Any doubt? Yes. Okay, who is there any doubt? Yes. No, sir. <clears throat> Last portion is your thin cylinder and thick cylinder. Thin cylinder ka jo notes are already you have read. In your fourth semester, mein, strength of material, mein, PDY 2T, PDY 4T. So, I will give you either video link in your WhatsApp group or in your PDF form. I will give you a notes. And the thick cylinder is वो मैं एक दिन और डिस्कस कर लूँगा तो खत्म हो जाएगा हमारा पार्ट ठीक है ठीक है सर फाइन ठीक है सर चलो ठीक है सर ठीक मैं फिर मीटिंग को एंड कर रहा हूँ ओके और जस्ट आफ्टर द क्लास बाय द डे एंड आई विल गिव द लेक्चर लिंक ऑफ़ दिस टू लेक्चर्स इन योर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप टुडे लेक्चर ओके ओके 